they can't continue to eat until there is justice for Antonio. What's up, y'all? Tempe so against police violence. Many organizations who are here today. Out here, um, some of outside them of the police department, it's been a, a month exactly. For Antonio's family. So, Fati from uh, Progressive Democrats. I'm going to speak in Spanish. Um, we do have Antonio's parents here with us today. And first and foremost, I know we're here to support them. And so I want to recognize and make sure that they can understand everything that we say here tonight. En primer lugar, me gustaría reconocer que pues en estos momentos que nos encontramos de desespera, de dolor, y como dijo María, nosotros sabemos de injusticia. Que a la vez nos encontramos aquí reunidos todos juntos en solidaridad y apoyando a esta familia, más otros que han sido impactados por esta injusticia de la policía. La familia se extiende y estamos aquí con ustedes. No están solos. Por eso nos unimos aquí y nos seguiremos uniendo. This does not stop today until we see justice. We will continue to unite hasta que haya justicia para Toño, para las otras vidas que se han perdido. Y así hacemos nuestra demanda muy clara. La demanda de justicia que corren al que cometió este crimen, que mató a un joven y le quitó su, fu le quitó su futuro y lo quitaron de su familia, de sus amigos, de sus papás, de sus hermanos, seguimos en la lucha y con la demanda que queremos justicia y que corren a este policía. So, although we are here in a time of despair, knowing that justice does not exist on these streets that we find ourselves on daily, knowing that these are sad times and a life was lost, we are here together. And I want everybody to embrace that, not just today, because going forward, and we will go forward until there is justice for Antonio Arce and others like him. We will continue to unite and demand what is only right. And that is that the officer, the police that killed and murdered this 14 year old child be brought to justice and fired and prosecuted. So we need to march forward, continue to unite, continue to stand in solidarity with these impacted families and support them. There is no justice, no justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Thank you, Pati. Uh, next we have Redeem for the Poor People's Campaign. Good to see everyone out here tonight. Listen up. When a 14-year-old kid is murdered by the police, everything gets shut down. When a 14-year-old is murdered by the police, there will be no city council meetings until this is solved. When a 14-year-old is murdered by the police, nobody eats or sleep in peace. When we say no justice, no peace, there ought to be no peace. That means nobody buys in peace. That means nobody sleeps in peace. Until the officer who committed this act of murder is fired and charged and locked up, there will be no peace. We got to stay consistent, not just show up one time and then go home. We will remain consistent. I thank everyone for your consistency. We will be out here more. We will shut down city council meetings until justice is served. Also, we have the family of Antonio here. Let's make sure that we are there for them. Speak. Ask them what can we do for you during this time. So let's fight for justice and let's also be here for this family.
We have Luke Black from Poder en Acción. Uh, my name is Luke. I am. My name is Luke. I am with Poder in Action. Um, we continue to see this epidemic of violence play uh, play out across the county. We are here in Tempe today because Tempe police and the culture of violence within Tempe police murdered Antonio Arce. We are here calling for justice for this family, for Antonio. We are asking that the city fire this officer because if we do not ask for this they will not do it they have no intention of holding themselves accountable just as none of the police departments in this valley have any intention of, of changing the culture up. of violence that exists within them we have witnessed the city of phoenix come off of its most violent year on record, 44 people were shot, 23 people were killed. In Phoenix, we have seen three, we have seen three people already this year killed by Phoenix police. Uh, we are witnessing the Phoenix police work to cover up the sexual assault uh, of a woman of color in Phoenix. Uh, we are watching police departments that have had historic a history of cultures of violence continue to be violent. We are witnessing Glendale Police Department being called out for failure to fire, failure to uh, prosecute an officer that tased someone 11 times, including sexually assaulting that individual. That is out a year after that officer committed that crime against that person, not because Glendale police wanted that out, but because we the public, we the people of this valley continue to, to demand for that, uh, to demand for justice and demand that these police departments and their cultures of violence be held accountable. We have an opportunity to continue to make that demand here for the city of Tempe and for this police department. Uh, the City of Tempe's Council will be meeting again on February 28th, and we expect them to take action. We stood before them, we demanded that they took action a month ago. We have seen no action on their part for justice for Antonio. And we expect them to take action, and we will be coming to Council with the expectation that they will take action and bring justice to this horrible crime that their officer has committed. I'm gonna turn it back to Maria and we'll go from there. So, so we're gonna have Darian from Tempe against violence? Police violence. Police violence. What's up? Side. What's up everyone? Darian with Tempe against police violence. I'm out here one month later after the death of Antonio Arce. I was at the city council meeting last month and I heard a lot of us say that why doesn't these officers rely on a taser? And this is, I, I have to bring it up. I don't even feel safe with Tempe PD using tasers uh, on our on anyone because they could they could have just learned from uh, Glendale PD's uh, mistakes. We need to find a solution to this non-lethal versus lethal force in the city of Tempe and everywhere else. I may have a solution to this non-lethal versus lethal force that I will be proposing at city council on the 28th. And this does have to deal with rubber bullets and it could deal with a lot more. One month later, I, I still see Tempe PD in the spotlight. The past week, I've seen Tempe PD out in full force for one subject. You know, like I understand that when there's a crime and a stolen vehicle, it calls for numbers, but it doesn't call for 40 plus officers to detain one man and arrest him. 
Why couldn't why couldn't we detain and arrest Antonio Arce instead of detaining and arresting a body that's lying on the ground? Why why can't we why what what's going on in the city of Tempe that we can't figure out how to use non-lethal force first? So we are currently marching. We're staying on the sidewalks due to the specific situation the family is in.
Heads up! Look at this. There we go. That's what I like to see. G732JD. Immediately firing 
the officer who murdered Antonio. So, ¿Cómo se mira la justicia? Es inmediatamente... Por eso hay que levantarnos. That's why we have to raise our voices. Porque no mataron a Antonio. They didn't just kill Antonio. Mataron a mi familia. They killed my entire family. Face up. Gracias. Antonio. Presente. Antonio. Presente. Antonio. Presente. Antonio. Presente. Say it louder. What's his name? Antonio. What's his name? Antonio. Presente. Antonio. Presente. Antonio. Presente. Thank you, everyone. Oh, y'all. I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good one.